Okay. is now back in. I gotta see if I'm supposed to put a screw hole here. Let's see. I don't think I am, but pause the camera. So one screw over here, one screw over here. Plug this back into the board. that Look the DVI connection back up this one was one that was kind of a pain Okay. All right, blue and brown. It's going to go through the clip. Attach to the board. Right there. Pull the slack back out so it won't interfere. Now, just two parts left and a few screws. So hold on. Okay, I made a mistake. This screw doesn't go in yet. The cable came out too. I need to put this tray uh, in, and then, and that screw is going to be part of it. That screw we left in there. Out. Line this guy up, which is pretty easy because the tabs on this thing. And screw it back in. Adjust the camera so you can see what I'm doing here. A little bit. All right, I'm going to pause the tape and take a closer look at this. It just needs to be lined up. I'll be back after it's screwed in. Okay, so I got the three screws back in. So that piece is in place. Next thing to do is slide in the light housing. So that's going to go in easily. I'll do it and then be back. All right, so the light housing is back in, held in by its one screw. So next, uh, count the screws, and I think there will be 14, and then put them, put the back back on. Okay. I forgot one screw here. So there's only four screws on this whole mine. What are you doing? And the kids are home, as you can tell. Hey! So I'm going to screw this in. 
Hey, one thing that I forgot to do, and I just had to undo my first install, was there's a jumper right in here, and you need to remove that jumper. Uh, basically, apparently, from what I read, that jumper tells the television what type of bearings uh, and what type of color wheel are in. Um, so for my older model TV, I have to pull that jumper. Okay, so pull things back together. So now, power on. And we have volume, we have picture, and it works. So what we're going to do, we're going to build now, right over I'll be honest. our curve, okay? Uh, we're simply going to extend our I had to take it apart a couple times to get it to work, oh, but nice. so it only took, once it was, Excellent. once I knew how to take it apart, it was pretty easy, and then it was just finding a loose cable uh, that didn't seat correctly. So, that's it. Bye.